It was at this time that he first came to me. I had represented his father in an accident case some years before, and I was acquainted with the family in a casual way. I remember him now as he first walked through my doorway. His eyes were like tunnels. My first thought was he had committed a crime. Then I saw that it was only a passion that had moved into his body like a stranger. I don't quite understand what I can do for you. Is there a question of law somewhere? That's what I want to ask you. Because there's nothing illegal about a girl falling in love with an immigrant. Yeah, but what about it if the only reason for it is to get his papers? First of all, you don't know that. I could see it in his eyes. He's laughing at her and he's laughing at me. I'm a lawyer, Eddie. I can only deal with what's provable. You understand that, don't you? Can you prove that? I know what's in his mind, Mr. Alfieri. Even if you could prove that, Eddie. Listen! Will you listen to me? My father, he always says you was a smart man. I want you to listen to me. I'm only a lawyer. Will you listen to me? I'm talking about the law. Let me just bring out what I mean here. A man, when he enters the country illegal, don't it stand to reason he's gonna take every penny and put it in his sock? Because those guys, they don't know from one day to another, right? All right. He's spending records he buys now, jackets, shoes. You understand me? This guy ain't worried. This guy's here. So it must be he's got it all laid out in his mind already. He's staying, right? So what about it? All right. I'm talking to you confidential, ain't I? Certainly. I mean, this don't go no place but here because I don't like to say this about anybody. I mean, even my own wife, I didn't exactly what say is it? this. The guy ain't right, Mr. Alfieri. What do you mean? I mean he ain't right. I don't, I don't get it. Did you ever get a look at him? Not that I know of, no. He's a blonde guy, like platinum, you know what I mean? No. I mean, if you close the paper fast, you could blow him over. Well, wait, just... wait a second here, I'm telling you something. He sings, see, which is, I mean, it's all right, but sometimes he hits a note, see? I, I mean, I turn around, I mean, hi, you know what I mean? Well, he's a, he's a tenor. No, I know a tenor, Mr. Alfieri. This, this ain't no tenor. I mean, if you come in the house and you didn't know who was singing, you wouldn't be looking for him. You'd be looking for her. Okay. Now, wait, Mr. Miss Alfieri, please. I, I'm telling you something here, okay? Just let me, let me bring out my thoughts. A couple of nights ago, my niece, she, um, she brings out a dress, which is too small for an account that she shot up like a light this past year. He takes the dress. He lays it over the table. He cuts it up one, two, three, he makes a new dress. <laughs> no, I mean, he looks so sweet standing there, like an angel. You could kiss him, he looks so sweet. Look, and he- Mr. Alfieri, they're laughing at him on the piers. I'm ashamed. Paper doll, they call him. Blondie now. His brother thinks it's because he's got a sense of humor, see? Which he's got, but that ain't what they're laughing at. Which they're not gonna come out with it because they know he's my relative. Which they gotta see me if they wanna take a crack, you know? But I know what they're laughing at. And when I think of that guy laying his hands on him, I mean, it's eating me what? out, Mr. Alfieri, because I struggle for that girl. Now he comes into my house. Eddie, look. I have a family of my own. I understand you. But the law is very specific. And the law... Wait, you mean to tell me that there's no law that a guy, which he ain't right, can go to work and marry a girl, and even if he's what? You have no recourse in the law, Eddie. Yeah, but if he ain't right, Mr. Alfieri... There is nothing you can do about it, Eddie, believe me. Nothing? Nothing at all. There's only one legal question here. What? 
the manner in which he entered the country. I don't think you want to do anything about that, do you? What do you mean? Well, they entered the country illegally. No! No, Jesus Christ! No, I wouldn't do nothing about that. I mean, All right. Mr. Alfieri, I can't believe what you tell me. Let me talk. I mean, there must be some kind of... Yeah, I want you to listen to me. Sometimes God mixes up the people. We all love somebody. Wife, the kids, every man has got somebody that he loves. But sometimes there's too much. You know, there is too much and it goes where it mustn't. A man works hard. He brings up a child. Sometimes it's a niece. Sometimes even a daughter. And he never realizes it. But through the years, there is too much love for the daughter. There's too much love for the niece. Do you understand what I'm telling you? What, what do you mean? I shouldn't look out for her good? Yes, Eddie, but it has to end. These things have to end. That's all. The child has to grow up, move out. The man has to learn to forget. Because after all, Eddie, what other way can it end? Let her go. That's my advice. You did your job. Wish her luck. Let her go. Will you do that? Because there's no law, Eddie. Make up your mind to it. The law is not interested in this. You mean to tell me even if he's a punk? Even if he's got- There is nothing you can do about it. All right, thanks very much. What are you gonna do? What can I do? I'm a patsy. What can a patsy do? You know, I work like a dog for 20 years. So punk and have her. That's what I've done. I mean, in the worst times. In the worst. When there wasn't a ship coming in the harbor, I didn't stand around. Looking for relief, I hustled. When there wasn't empty piers in Brooklyn, I went to Hoboken, Staten Island, the West Side, Jersey, all over. I made a promise. I took out of my own mouth to give to her. I took out of my wife's mouth. I walked hungry. Plenty of days in this city, and now I gotta sit in my own house and look at a son of a bitch punk like that? When she came out of nowhere. I give him my house to sleep. I take the blankets off my bed for him, and he takes and he puts his dirty, filthy hands on him like a goddamn thief. Eddie, she's a woman now. He's stealing from me. She wants to get married, Eddie. She can't marry you, can she? What the hell are you talking about? Marry me? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I gave you my advice. That's it. It's just, it's breaking my heart, you know? I, I, I understand, Eddie. Put it out of your mind. Can you do that? Uh, 
I'll see you around. <laughs> there are times when you want to sound an alarm, but nothing has happened. I knew, I knew then and there. It wasn't like there was some mystery to unravel. I could see every step coming, step after step, like a, a dark figure walking down a hallway to a certain door. I could see where he was heading for. I could see where he was gonna end. I sat here many afternoons asking myself why being an intelligent man, I felt so powerless to stop it. I even talked to this old lady in our neighborhood, a very wise old woman, and I told her, and she just nodded her head and said, pray for him. And so I waited here. <laughs> 